How's it going everyone? So today in this video, we're going to be completely optimizing Fortnite in order to fix FPS drops, fix stutters, improve our input delay, and make sure that we're playing at the best of our abilities regarding our gameplay. So without further ado, let's get right into the chapter two remix optimization and how we can increase our FPS and decrease our input delay just like the pros do it. So let's get right into it. First things first, always create a restore point before following optimization videos. These restore points can be used later in order to fix anything that has happened due to the video so make a restore point at this point of this video if you have not already so first things first everyone we're going to open up our epic games launcher and we're going to make sure that our epic games launcher is not causing us to have issues so go to the profile icon on the top right click settings you're going to uncheck minimize to system tray uncheck run when my computer starts and then uncheck the desktop notifications then go back go to library and then find fortnite in your library and what you're going to do is once you found it you're going to click the three dots right next to it click options make sure you have it just like how i have it now if you want to use dx12 you do have to keep the dx12 shaders on use it just like so if you're playing competitively and you're using performance mode or dx11 so once you've done that you just press apply and this is the point in the video where i suggest reinstalling your game completely and making sure that you get fresh files and the reason you would do that is just because the game can sometimes bug out during updates in a new season which can cause the fps drops and the freezes that some people have been getting so i would recommend if you can reinstall your game completely just uninstall it from the epic games launcher and then install it again with the options that i just showed you so that's really important if you are able to reinstall do that because it's going to help a lot now the second thing that you want to do is you're going to launch your game if you have not already launched your game and if you have not launched your game then please launch it right now and then just quickly close it and then come back so you can just close out of epic games launcher completely you're gonna pretty much reset the fortnite game cache which is just the game user settings and some other stuff so what we're gonna do is click the search bar type percent local app data percent and then you're gonna find fortnite game folder now if you have any replays in this folder you are gonna be completely removing it so if you have replays that you need for like cinematics or whatever just make sure that you do understand this is gonna delete all of your replays but what you're gonna do is you're gonna pretty much just delete this folder completely and then relaunch your game it's going to remake the folder and then make you do all your resettings again and then once you've done that go to the link in the description and download the chapter 2 remix optimization pack we're going to be using the game user settings from that folder and put it in that same folder at the fortnite game so let's just launch our game and make sure that we remake fortnite game folder all right so once you have launched your game and then closed it all we're going to do is go to the pack that you've downloaded i'm going to go to the second folder which is game config and launcher settings you're going to right click on game user settings and then click copy then we're going to go back go to reset cache go to delete fortnite game go to fortnite game save config windows client and then just paste file into here and click replace the file and that's going to pretty much take care of all the fortnite settings for you it's going to set it to performance mode all low and then turn on reflex but yeah we're going to go back to the chapter 2 remix optimization you're going to go to gpu optimization and now we're just going to step into just some general things that everyone should do on their pc in order to maximize performance re decrease input delay and this technically works for all games it's not just for fortnite but make sure that you're using the latest nvidia drivers as of the moment and the reason for that is just quite simple new season there could be some fixes in the new driver but realistically you should be fine on your current driver as long as the game is launching if you want to to make sure just double check and then reinstall the newest driver then once you've done that msi mode tools is really important just make sure your graphics card is checked in msi mode tool just like how i have it so rtx 3090 msi is checked and if it's not already checked make sure to check it and then press apply on the top right and then close out of that now nvidia what you're going to do is you can open up nvidia profile inspector and this is going to take care of all the nvidia settings for us you don't have to do anything you just drag this fortnite dash zilli nvidia drag it in nvidia profile inspector it's going to say profile successfully imported press ok and press apply changes and that's going to take care of all of the nvidia control panel settings and you can double check this by going to nvidia control panel manage 3d settings and as you guys can see all of that is already done for us then if you're on amd same thing install recommended radeon drivers then just copy these screenshots for amd in this folder then go back to the chapter 2 optimization folder go to basic windows optimizations if you're on a desktop run these commands if you're on a laptop run these commands then go to power plan if you have high performance power plan or if you have ultimate power plan use that and then that's all you have to do for this page but i'm going to stick with my zilli power plan then uninstall useless programs is really important you want to make sure that you don't have useless programs installed because these programs will run in the background take up system resources and then just cause you to have lower fps and higher delay so make sure to uninstall them if you have any programs that you stopped 
using or you just don't even use at all. Go to more advanced videos. Now, if you want to go more in depth and optimizing your windows, decreasing your process count, and then just making sure that everything is running smoothly and way better for every game, not just Fortnite, then go watch these two videos where I completely transform your windows installation and make it run as fast as possible. Go back, go back again, go to network settings. Now, this is really important. We're going to be updating our network adapter and we're going to be optimizing our network adapter. And this is, can potentially lower your ping and improve your hit registration and then just improve all of the aspects within network in your gameplay. Then go to update network adapter, double click SDIO underscore auto, and then just wait for this to pop up, press accept. It might take a couple seconds for that to pop up for you. Then this page, please wait for this to pop up, click download indexes only. Don't check anything else. Then just wait for this thing to download. And then, all right, so once it's done downloading the indexes, all you're going to do is scroll down to the bottom and you're going to find your Intel Wi-Fi adapter if you have one or your Realtek Wi-Fi adapter. Check that. And if you have your Intel i225V or i226V or Realtek family controller, which is going to be your ethernet controller. If you have it, check it and then click install on the top left and it's going to install the drivers for you and then update them to the latest version. And then you can continue with the next few settings for the network. Once you've done that, you can close out of that. We're going to go back to the network settings, double click network adapters, and it's going to take you to this page. If you're on Wi-Fi, you can double click on Wi-Fi. If you're on ethernet, you're going to double click on ethernet. I'm going to double click ethernet, go to properties, uncheck everything except QoS packet scheduler and then internet protocol version four. Then once you've done that, double click on internet protocol version four. If you want to use a custom DNS, you can. However, this does not lower your ping. It does absolutely nothing. It just makes your web pages load faster in Google. Go to advanced, go to WINS, uncheck, enable LM host lookup, and then NetBIOS settings set it to disable NetBIOS over TCP slash IP. Then press OK, press OK again, and then you're going to click OK again. Go back to properties, click configure. And this is really important. Go to power management, uncheck all of this in here. Go to advanced, disable ARP offload, enable PME, disable that. Flow control, disable that. Interrupt moderation, set both of these to disabled slash off. IPv4 checksum offload, disable that. Larsen offload, disable that. And anything that has offload in its name, just disable it. So NS offload, and then these TCP checksum offloads also disabled. Now receive buffers, make sure this is the same as transmit buffers. If they're not, just make sure they're the same. Then packet priority and VLAN, set this to packet priority enabled. Now all of these wait and wake on settings, just disable them. These are completely useless. Now, if you have an Intel Ethernet controller, just like how I have, there's one more setting that you can do in the registry. What you're going to do is you're going to press OK on this. It's going to restart your Ethernet. Open up your search bar, type reg, edit. It's going to pop up with the, with the first thing. And then what you're going to do is you're going to scroll up, click H key local machine. You're going to click system, current control set, expand that, expand control, class, expand that. And you're going to find 4D36E972 in the first few numbers. Expand that. And then look through zero all the way to 14. Look through all of these and find your Intel Ethernet controller. So it's not going to be this one. It's going to be this one for me right here. And I'm going to scroll down to the bottom, find TX int delay. For you, it's going to be on 28. Make sure to set it to zero and then press OK. And then you can just close out of that. And that's your network adapter completely optimized on Windows. You don't have to do much else for that. Then you can close out of that. What we're going to do now is you're going to go back. You're going to go back again. You're going to pretty much restart your computer, launch your game, test out the everything. And then if you just reinstalled your NVIDIA drivers or reinstalled your Radeon drivers, I just want to make sure that you understand the first couple of matches are going to be droppy. You're going to have a lot of FPS drops because something called shader cache is building up. I'd say give it around a day for your shader cache to completely build up in Fortnite after you reinstalled your NVIDIA or Radeon drivers, or if you even updated them and you can't say, oh, it's just a driver being bad. It's not, it's just shader cache has to build up. So make sure that you understand that whenever you're updating, reinstalling, or installing a new graphics card into your computer. Other than that, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you want more stuff like this, subscribe down below and turn on the post notifications. However, if you're tired of watching these videos and you're tired of just having bad performance and you just want somebody that knows what he's doing and gets you the proper results that you want, go to the first link in the description and book a PC optimization service with us. We're the best PC optimizers on the internet. We get you overclocked, optimizing the BIOS, and we make sure that if there's any problems on your PC, we address them. If you're interested in getting way more FPS and less input delay, just like the pros, go to the first link in the description. But other than that, leave a like, comment down below if this video helped you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.